Dear colleagues, in this video, you are going to see all the steps of fecal emulsification, particularly hydro delineation, stop and chop technique of fecal emulsification, and use of bimanual irrigation aspiration. By this time, the main incision has been made and viscoelastic substance has been injected into the anterior chamber. Now, this is a side port on the right side of the main incision and this is another side port on the left side of the main incision. The right side port is about 3 clock hours away and the left side port is about 2 clock hours away from the main incision. And now, capsulorexis. The capsule has been incised with a 26 gauge bent needle. Now I hold this capsular tag with a uterta forceps go anti-clockwise and see I am remaining at equal distance all around from the margin of the dilated pupil and thus I get a round axis so the pupillary margin if the pupil is round and dilated the pupillary margin is your rexis guide hydrodelineation is done Hydro dissection is done now. Hydro delineation. See, hydro delineation has produced a beautiful golden ring in this case. In my early stages of learning, this golden ring inspired me a lot to go for fecal emulsification, and I remember on a live surgery session by our guru Dr. Suha Shalipurkar who got exactly similar golden ring and it shook me like anything. Now making a trench always apply ultrasonic energy when you are going forward and make the central part of the trench deeper than the two ends and the length of this trench is from rexis margin from one side to the rexis margin of the other side and now rotate it 180 degree to work on the side which was just in front of the main incision and as you have gone to sufficient depth apply opposite forces and divide the nucleus into two heminuclei. Now each heminucleus is held with vacuum and it is chopped. Trenching was done in FEC1 mode where the vacuum was 50 millimeter of mercury, flow rate was 25 and power also was 50 millimeter of mercury. In FECO2 mode, the power is same, flow rate is 45 and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. And now, viscoelastic substance is injected into the antechamber and I am waiting for the bimanual irrigation aspiration system to be ready. We have to wait for about 15 seconds this time for the thing to get ready. Now I'm doing little bit of hydro dissection and then this is bimanual irrigation aspiration. Irrigation is through the right side port and aspiration through the left. Now I change hands. Now the irrigation is through the left side port and aspiration through the right side port. So bimanual irrigation aspiration is very a nice and very simple thing. The antechamber remains formed. You can approach any place and the side ports can be really small. Now this is hydro polish. I am using the fluid jet to polish the posterior capsule. You can use cab vac mode but even with calf back mode, capsular polish mode, where the vacuum is 10 to 20 millimeter of mercury and flow rate is 
15 to 20 ml per minute even with that low setting I have made post capsular rent in some cases now I am en enlarging the main incision little bit because the cartridge is an A cartridge and now this is the intraocular lens is going straight into the capsular bag the irrigating probe supports the optic and places the haptics in the capsular bag and now the antechamber and the capsular bag is irrigated because there are some viscoelastic substance in the lumen of the cartridge and now this is a bit of moxifloxacin this stiff can be avoided and now this is hydration of the side ports to make these stab wounds waterproof and I always do a final lavage of the entry chamber with clean fresh BSS even the moxifloxacin molecules that I have used that is also washed out so you can think that I have not used moxifloxacin but touch wood my endophthalmitis rate is very minimal 1 in 15,000 cases and now the antechamber is formed nicely and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills you can learn bimanual IA you can learn stop and chop technique of ecomulsification thank you very much